let's start. Today we will see how to implement a multi time frame donkey and channel in the TradingView Pine script. This is the indicator function with the name multi time frame donkey and channel. First, we accept the user input for the length of the donkey and channel. Then we accept the user input for the higher time frame. Here we have chosen a daily time frame by default. Then we use the lowest and highest functions to calculate the lower and upper bands of the donkey and channel. Then we use the security function to calculate the higher time frame values of the lower and upper bands. The first argument of the security function is the stock name, the second argument is the higher time frame. The third argument is the lower and upper bands with bracket 1 written in front of them. The bracket 1 means the previous bar's data. This is necessary to avoid the indicator repainting as we had earlier seen in the video of the indicator repainting issue. The fourth argument handles the gaps, the fifth argument merges the higher time frame data into current bars. Then we calculate the average of the higher time frame lower and upper bands and name it as middle. And finally, we plot the three higher time frame bands in different colors. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see the donkey and channel has been added to the chart. We are on the 5 minutes chart right now and seeing the donkey and channel of the daily time frame. Let's change the higher time frame to weekly now. As you can see, now we are seeing the donkey and channel of weekly time frame on the 5 minutes time frame. So that's it. That's how you can implement a multi time frame donkey and channel in the TradingView Pine script. Thanks for watching.